Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and as you can see over my shoulder, spring has sprung here in the UK, which means that summer is just around the corner, so I need to get some new sunglasses and maybe a nice pair of headphones to get out and about. Or I could just get both. Today we're going to be looking at the Soundcore Frames, a pair of glasses slash headphones combined into one to see if it's actually worth it or if you're better off getting a pair of standalone earbuds and a nice cheap pair of sunglasses. So. Let's take a look. So first off, a quick unboxing, and in true Soundcore style, the presentation is great. When you first open the magnetic lid, you're gonna be granted with the frames themselves that you've chosen, the stems of the actual sunglasses, and then underneath there, you're gonna have a carrying case, which we'll get onto in just a moment. It's a little bit strange. You've then got some paperwork, and of course, you've got the charging cable. Now, the pair that I've gone for are the Wonder Style, and these basically just suit my style. I've been using a pair of Van sunglasses for a really long time now, and these ones actually look pretty similar. Now, the actual audio temples, as they're called, which is the stem that goes over the ear, that part doesn't actually change regardless of which style you're going to be going for. Now you can get multiple different frames and there are a ton of different options to choose from. Now I've also got another style option here called the Tour Style, which isn't necessarily to my liking, but if you do like that more aviator look and feel, then again, Soundcore has got you covered. And in total, you've got 10 different styles to choose from. So regardless of the type of sunglasses that you want to use or your face shape, because that definitely plays a part, you're gonna find a style that suits you specifically. So again, have a look around, see what they've got to offer, and hopefully you'll find something that you like. And regardless of the style of which you're gonna be getting, they're gonna come in at 149 pounds here in the UK. And that's definitely an important number to keep in mind because later on in the video, we're gonna be comparing it to getting a standalone pair of earbuds and sunglasses to see if it's actually worth the value for money getting it in one package. But as always, I'll have everything linked in that description down below if you guys wanna check them out for yourselves. Now, the setup of the actual frames couldn't be simpler. All you have to do is take the frame and audio temples out of the box, make sure the Soundcore logo is facing outwards, and then you push the audio temples securely into position on the hinges. And that's basically it, you're good to go. They'll then go into pairing mode and you can go ahead and pair them like you normally would any pair of standard earbuds on your device. And before we get onto the actual look and feel and the sound quality, we also do have that case that I mentioned, and this isn't necessarily the best thing in the world. It's good quality and the materials feel nice, but it's just not something that I'm looking for in a glasses case. It doesn't actually feel very protective. I would much rather go and buy one for a couple of pounds from the hardware store, as opposed to use this one while it does look nice. For me, it's definitely look over function. And just quickly, you can't also get these in prescription form. However, the actual glass in the frames does pop out. So if you can take them to your local optician, for example, you may be able to get some sort of third party option that they can fit themselves, but you can't get any prescriptions specifically through Soundcore at purchase. Now on the audio temples in total, you've got four different speakers and they kind of act a little bit like bone conducting headphones, but also a pair of open ear headphones as well, because again, nothing is actually going in your ear specifically. It's just gonna be resting on the top. So do keep that in mind if you are gonna be using these out and about or on any sort of public transport or anything, everyone's gonna be able to hear the music or the podcast or whatever it is you're gonna be listening to. Now they do have a custom audio processor on board. So again, in regards to the actual sound quality, it's not gonna to be too bad, but we'll get onto a sound test in a moment moment and I'm not expecting the best sound quality because again it's not something that goes deep in your ear there's no noise cancellation and things like that but hopefully in general it just gives a very open sound when you're out and about. Now you do also have two noise cancelling microphones on board. Now this isn't for the actual sound itself, it's for the microphones when you're making calls for example. So hopefully again when you're out and about, because again these are sunglasses, you're going to be using them outdoors. Hopefully if it's windy or if there's a lot of noise around you, the person on the other end of the call for example is still going to hear you perfectly fine. Now strangely enough they do also have their own built in voice assistant, which isn't actually going to be anything like Siri, Google Assistant or Alexa, it's going to be its own thing. Now why that's a good thing is because you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi for this to work. So again, if you're using, for example, offline music on Spotify, you're out and about and you wanna play or pause the music, you can then just do it directly through the actual frames themselves. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of companies like Apple and Google and tons of others have found ways to do it offline, but it's good to have it built in anyway. But how do they actually sound? Well, I was actually pleasantly surprised. Now again, don't get me wrong, these aren't gonna be the best noise cancelling in-ear or over-ear headphones, but obviously my last video, I'd done a video on some bone conducting headphones from Shox, and the sound quality is actually pretty similar. However, it's just gonna be in glasses format. So what that's gonna mean is everyone around you can hear what you're listening to, yes, which in some instances can be a problem, but in regards to the overall sound, it actually sounded pretty good. You can actually hear some bass, some highs, and also just the music in general sounded very clear when I was out and about. 
Now also if you're going to be listening to any sort of podcast or anything or just anything with voices, they actually came across really clear and because of the open back style, it was a little bit strange because it sounded like the person who was on the podcast was actually right next to me and I could hear them perfectly well. Now some music at higher volumes like heavy metal for example can definitely distort and again if you've got something that's really bass heavy it's not necessarily going to sound the best, however if you do need them for a quick walk around the beach or around town or to the shops and back, again you're not really going to have any issues at all. And the fact that they're connected to a pair of sunglasses is super convenient especially on a day like today. Now they also have IPX4 water and dust resistance, so again if you're going to be using them down on the beach for example you're not going to have any problems there, but don't necessarily take them into the shower and don't get them covered in sand. And also just touching on the fit of the sunglasses themselves, like I mentioned I've been using a pair of £15 van sunglasses for quite some time now and as you can see they're pretty similar in terms of the overall style. Now the fact that they've also got these speakers built on board, battery and a load of electronics, they're not actually as heavy as I thought they were going to be, so again that's definitely something to keep in mind they don't necessarily weigh you down, maybe like a pair of over ear headphones was once you're out and about. Now with regards to battery life, you're going to be getting around 5.5 hours on a full charge and 10 minutes of charge is going to get you around 90 minutes, so again that's going to be good for a very quick charge on the go if you need it, however the battery life again isn't going to be as good as what you would find with a standalone pair of earbuds or headphones, but it's still pretty good for what you're going to be getting and I don't necessarily think that you should be spending more than 5.5 hours in the sunlight anyway. Now as always with all Soundcore products you can also use the Soundcore application in regards to changing certain features and functions of the frames themselves. You've got seven different surround sound options so again you can kind of do some EQ presets and fiddle around with that but it's not going to be the most integral thing in the world. You can also try them on virtually which is actually kind of cool and you can also do this on their website as well and another selling point according to their website is you can shop for new styles so if you want to buy some more you can do so through the app. So can I recommend these Soundcore frames? Well going back to the start of the video it's really all about that value. For me I'm using a pair of £99 ear ones from nothing and I've got a pair of £15 van sunglasses so that brings my total to around £114 which again is definitely going to be cheaper than these Soundcore frames. However if you are someone that uses Apple products or something from Samsung for example the earbuds alone may be $50 to $100 more than what you're going to be paying for these. So overall I think the value is definitely there it's maybe a little bit niche compared to just buying a pair of standard earbuds but overall I can definitely recommend them if you want to mix it up a bit and in general just carry around less clutter. You don't have to worry about your earbuds charging case or anything like that whatsoever but do keep in mind that if you are that kind of person that's a little bit clumsy and leaves your sunglasses behind you're also leaving behind your headphones and £149 worth of stuff. And that's going to do it guys for this video on these Soundcore frames. If this is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments section down below. And just in general, if you can think of any other, you know, applications that this may be good for in terms of fusing two bits of tech together, again, let me know in the comments section down below and we can see what you guys can come up with. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not really subscribed, now is a great time to do so. And once you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified any time I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.